Thank you for watching our Sunday morning service. It's such an honor to have you watching the service today. Let's begin the service by sharing. If everybody would share this broadcast, that would be awesome. Believing it's going to bring encouragement and awakening and insight and a couple of good laughs as well. This is going to be a great service. Pastor Anthony, how you been? All good. Just uh, sharing the service real quick. Hey, I'm, thanks I'm so much great. for doing that. That's awesome. You bet. Yeah, it's been a great week. You guys holding up with uh, being in quarantine and everything? Yeah, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. well, it looks like the tide is starting to shift. Things are starting to change. But with all that being said, another crazy week, bro. Oh, it's been, it's been nuts. In fact, I'm not sure if you heard about this, but this last week the Pentagon released three UFO videos that were posted by the lead singer of Blink-182. Did you hear about this? <laughs> no, I don't think I did. Yep. You know, here's the thing. Guys, they weren't real UFOs, okay? They were actually Nephilim with glow sticks. Hey! Hey, quick question. Are there any fans of Fiddler on the Roof here this morning? Oh, yeah. Well, if you loved Fiddler on the Roof, you're going to love Boston Marathon Runner on a Roof. That's real. That's a real deal. The Boston Marathon runner actually completed a marathon on his roof. Wild, huh? It's crazy. I need to get on my roof. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not sure if you heard about this. It was announced this last week that the cause of the norovirus back in 2019, that the cause of it was actually frozen raspberries. Did you hear about this? <laughs> raspberries. Yeah, wow. frozen raspberries. Interesting. I bet that'll be the last time they freeze raspberries and bat pee. <laughs> and speaking of bats, they have appropriately delayed the launch of the new Batman movie to October of 2021. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? I did. And that is no joker. <laughs> Jet Blue. Yeah, Jet Blue is the first airline now to require face mask on their flights. Have you heard about this, Pastor Anthony? No, I don't think so. Yep. And so they are now actually offering chewed up pretzels and a complimentary straw. <laughs> and now this week, we are proud to announce a new segment that we are calling Top... 10 fake COVID cures. Number 10, Utah tap water. <laughs> yep, it'll cure toe fungus, but it will not cure the coronavirus. <laughs> That's funny. Number 9. Taco Bell cheese. <laughs> I can't believe it's not cheese. Number eight, Axe body spray. 
somebody buys that stuff. <laughs> that's the crazy <laughs> part. Is like somebody is out there buying that stuff. Hey, if that's you, uh, put a thumbs up in the comments. <laughs> Number seven, and don't do this. Listen to K-pop. <laughs> yeah. Number five is for all the Minecraft peeps out there, eating a puffer fish or fermented spider eyes. Number four, ice baths. I actually do think that those probably could cure the coronavirus, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably. Just saying. Just saying. Number three, pickled pig's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, the 80s band, The Cure. <laughs> no, The Cure is not an actual cure for disease. <laughs> and number one, Vegemite. <laughs> And we dedicate that to all of our Australian friends and Kiwi friends. That's right. That one's dedicated to you. <laughs> we love you, Australia. <laughs> love, love, love. Hey, listen, we've got a great service today. Yes, Chris White will be leading us into worship. We're going to be talking about proclamation and really not declaring our fears but creating the future with our words it's going to be amazing right here on our seattle revival center sunday morning service